Welcome to Compliance Confidence, Strategies for a Successful Regulatory Inspection. Regulatory inspections provide an opportunity for companies to demonstrate the high level of compliance they have for regulations, customer safety, and quality. Knowing how to prepare for, manage, and respond to the inspection process leads to successful outcomes and develops compliance confidence. In this program, you will see a number of inspection scenarios highlighting employees who are unaware of proper inspection techniques and unsure of how to best handle themselves during an inspection. The scenarios are designed to help you think about how could I be better prepared for a regulatory inspection and how could I have done things differently when responding to the inspector. At the end of each scenario, we are going to ask you how you would have responded and then show you a more successful approach. The overall goal is for you to have compliance confidence during a regulatory inspection. Let's get started. In this first scenario, the inspection is already in process. Let's look in on the Audit Inspection Preparation Room. Now, Brian, are you prepared to speak to the inspector? Remember, if they ask you how you were trained for your job, you have to tell them we have a comprehensive training program in place. Well, I really can't say that. I'm in a jam. I need you to talk to my manufacturing operators about being prepared for this inspection. If you were responsible for organizing and preparing for inspections, what would you have done differently? Let's look at our scenario again and see how things were handled this time. In this scenario, we're going to take a look at how documentation is presented and discussed with the inspector. I'm looking over this deviation report and it doesn't seem complete. I've noticed a few gaps between the dates. I'm certain we have all of those dates in our files. Will you please get me that missing information so we can fill in those gaps? Also, will you get me all the documentation pertaining to this deviation? What would you have done differently to prepare for the inspector's documentation request? Let's look at the scenario again and see how it was handled this time. Now in this scenario, let's see what transpires during a tour of the manufacturing area. Now the next area we're going to tour is packaging. What's that on the floor? I don't know. It looks like some kind of liquid. I'll have someone check it out as soon as we're finished with our tour. Did you see anything that should have been changed during this tour? Let's look at this scenario again and see how it was handled this time. In this scenario, we're going to see what transpires when a piece of equipment is out of calibration. Brenda, this is Michelle Jones, our regulatory auditor. She's got a couple of questions to ask you. Oh, no problem. What can I help you with? Well, I'd like to know, how do you know the uh, piece of equipment you're using is calibrated? Oh, yes. Well, there is a calibration sticker that, uh, oops. Um, so this one is expired. What went wrong in this lab equipment scenario? Let's look again and see how it was handled this time. Brenda, this is Michelle Jones, a regulatory auditor. She's got a couple of questions to ask you. No problem. What can I do for you? Well, can you tell me how you know the piece of equipment you're using is calibrated? Oh, well, I look at the calibration sticker. In this scenario, the regulatory inspector will be asked to follow the company's gowning policies and procedures prior to entering the manufacturing area. Before we enter the manufacturing area, we need to step into the women's locker room. We're going to need to remove all of our makeup and all of our jewelry. Then we'll need to get into the required gowning. If you want to go and inspect the manufacturing area, you're going to have to follow the procedure, which includes makeup and jewelry removal and gowning. It is not my intention to ignore your procedure, but this is a quick look in the area so I can get an idea of what the employees are doing. I really don't think all of that is necessary. I'm sorry. Rules are rules. How would you have responded to the inspector's questions? Let's look at the scenario again and see how it was handled this time. Before we enter the manufacturing area, we need to step into the women's locker room. We're going to need to remove all of our makeup and all of our jewelry. Then we'll need to get into the required gowning. I understand. I was just trying to see how you would respond, and I appreciate your adherence to company procedures. So let's head into the locker room to gown up so we can inspect the manufacturing area.
In any inspection, there's going to be interviews with employees. These interviews can cover a broad range of topics, and how employees handle these interviews may determine how well the inspection goes. Let's look at this scenario. All right, let's start today's inspection review by looking at your less microbial sampling and environmental monitoring report. Uh, well, uh, uh, this is uh, one of our quarterly reports. Uh, uh, this report looks at our small parts cleaning uh, data in trends. Um, uh, we're analyzing the data to see if there's any issues with uh, items not being cleaned appropriately and if we see any issues, uh, uh, we usually investigate and uh, sometimes we uh, uh, revise our cleaning procedures. How do you think she did? Did she respond appropriately to the inspector's questions? Let's look at this scenario again and see how it was handled this time. Let's start today's inspection review by looking at your last microbial sampling and environmental monitoring report. Well, this is a copy of our latest quarterly report. This report looks at our small parts cleaning data and trends. We're analyzing the data to ensure we don't have any issues with items not being cleaned appropriately. If we see a trend, we'll investigate and evaluate for root cause, which aligns with our CAPA process. The quality associate did respond to the questions with compliance confidence. In this program, you've seen some strategies for you to have compliance confidence during a regulatory inspection. What these strategies all have in common is preparation and being in full compliance with good manufacturing practices all of the time. By following these strategies, you and your company will successfully meet the goal of compliance confidence during regulatory inspections.